it has been almost one whole entire year but the time is finally going to come soon not now the time is finally going to come soon and just in case you don't get the gist of this video we are going to be covering seven ways to prepare for update five the right way that's just for the title just like <laughs> put that in the title and gpo so just in case you don't know what i'm talking about update five is going to be coming out kind of soon i'm not going to say very soon but for you kind of gave us like an estimated date which was from the 24th all the way through minus 10 days or plus 10 days pretty much we have a estimation of when update 5 will be coming out now keep in mind that this can always be pushed back it can even come sooner which i highly doubt i'm pretty sure everybody who plays gpo doubts that but it doesn't matter we have an estimated date for update 5 so i thought to myself okay how can i make a video that can help out the player base into getting ready for update 5 and i was able to do that with this video right here so i have around seven or eight points that are going to be provided to you inside point details with exclamation marks and explanations that was terrible and outside of my horrible introductions let's start off with point one so this one is going to just be kind of like reality but get some friends now trust me that is easier to say than it is to actually do it but the only reason as to why I'm saying this is because each update there is always something new that's introduced and what I mean by new is there's a new grinding spot. You've seen it multiple times with updates and just in case this is your first time playing GPO and you came during update 4, each update the level cap increases and there's a huge area where a lot of people have to grind at. And for the second C, we all have to grind at Alabasta, we have to grind crab bosses, we also had to fight the king. It was very, very fun. I was even doing live streams with subscribers, which I, I will be doing that again once the update comes out. So. Just in case it's hard for you to get friends, you can always resort to relying on your favorite YouTuber to play with you or carry you. But I was doing live streams and I was even playing with my friends off camera. We were just grinding Krakens, doing the King, ETC. We pretty much was just a huge group of people enjoying the game and it was very easy to level up. There's also a glitch that allowed some of us to just reach max level cap without having to actually farm. But overall, you get what I'm trying to say. It's nice to have a group of people that you know you can rely on so that you can always, you know, just be like, Hey Ron, wanna go and play some GPO today? And Ron will be like, yes Ben, let's go play some GPO. And boom, you're both happy and then you live happily ever after and then you get married. Bang. But enough of the joking around, what I'm pretty much trying to say is try to get like a small group of people that you know you can play with, people you can grind with. And just in case it's hard for you to communicate or you just don't have good social skills, you can even join a Discord server and try to play with people in there. There is multiple ways for you to just grind with people. Um, there's also a private server channel in the official GPO Discord server, but some people like they post a private server code just so that they can literally grip you. It's a very weird thing to do, but all I'm saying is be careful and I would recommend that you get like a small group of people that you know you can rely on and that you know you can grind with because for update 5, the level cap will most likely be 500, so make sure that you get that out of the way. For the second preparation tip on getting ready for update 5, this one is just general knowledge but it would be to get your fruits up. Now, this is like, this can be easy for some people or it can be hard. There's another reason that later down the list, which would be a, a quick explanation on how to get fruits like that. But basically you just want to get your fruits up. Now, if you look at some people inventory, even mine, <laughs> um, as you can see, I have a lot of fruits and this was gathered over a year. Some of them are gifts from subscribers. Some of them are actually hard work, like this one Magu. That's probably the only thing I could easily say is hard work. But if you're not a YouTuber like me, then I would say get in Cupid Dungeons and get to the grinding because it is nice to get some fruits. And especially with the trade market, you see this Elo Hammer, it can literally go for like, like what, like two left arms and maybe even a Pika. So I will recommend that you get some fruits because there's going to be people who don't want to grind for the update 5 items and then if you have a nice fruit, you grind for them, you give them the item, you get your fruits and stuff. It's very easy profit. So yeah, take that however you will, but that is step two and you should get your fruits up for update five. And you don't want to have it looking like the inventory that you're seeing up on your screen right now. That is the inventory of somebody who's very poor. Now the third step is definitely my favorite one. And this one also has the no set date on it. 
but the third step is to get ready for the rumbling. Now, the rumbling is an event that recently started happening in GPO. Boyu really just does it randomly, but he did guarantee to us that the next rumbling is going to be on the day right before update 5. When is update 5? We don't know, or we have just an estimated date. But if you get ready for the rumbling, and what I mean by get ready is getting ready to server hop once you're done clearing it out inside your server, then you can very easily get fruits. In my last rumbling video, I was I, I was able to server hop between two servers. And in my first server, which I originally did with like all of my subscribers and stuff like that, I got a Gomu. And once I server hopped, I was actually able to get a Hiei. And it's the one that you're seeing in this inventory right here. And pretty much what I mean by get ready for the rumbling is try to get some friends, which is another thing leading back to trial one. Or maybe you can even join a Discord server in hopes of like people hosting rumbling with you know people that use pika magu stuff like that because these fruits like they very easily clear out the rumbling so yeah those fruits like they very easily clear out rumbling and another thing that i want to say is like once you finish your initial rumbling inside the server and this is me assuming that you have like you know a decent or nice tier fruit to do this if you're fruitless i'm sorry but you might as well just stay inside of one server and try to touch for you's feet or something hey, yo. so yeah once you're done with your server and started rumbling if you head over to the private server channel there are people who are still spam posting their code because not everybody is gonna have like their magma or pika chad user that's just out there carrying them for the rumbling me and my friends we were able to server hop around three times one of my friends were able to do it about four times before the rumbling was officially over for everybody and like the rumbling for you usually did it on like a two times logia weekend so that was a six times chance to get a logia if you cleared it within the first 15 minutes which is what we were able to do because we had a lot of powerhouse fruits so yeah keep this in mind try to make some free time around the update which we don't have an estimated date for and get ready to do the rumbling because that is literally free fruits it's like it's literally a free fruit and hopefully you're lucky enough to get a logia just like me Tip number four, you can get full use feet picks for early access and then you can actually find people in a Discord server who want to trade for it. And, oh, speaking of that, I actually have a trade right now. I'm going to say, hey, I'm trading full use feet picks. Got any offers? Mira, huh? I'm going to say, huh? Hey, yo! Now this one, I don't even really need to cover it that much because you've kind of had a year to do this, but this one is to get max level. So you see this little 425 inside the corner of my screen right here? This is what you need to reach. You had a year of playing GPO, and this is me assuming that you have been playing before. If you're a new player in like, in like let's just say that, like you just bought the game last week, then you're obviously not gonna be max level, but you should really put in the work to get max level. Or else you're gonna just end up like this guy, you know, this guy who's farming at Shellstown while the update's huh? gonna be coming out. And you don't wanna be that guy because you're gonna be left out, everybody's gonna be screaming, you're gonna see everybody having fun, grinding all the new stuff, getting the new boss drops, even testing out the new fruits. And small advertisement, if you get Paul and you don't want it, DM me, DM me. I will trade you for Paul. I will trade you for Paul. Okay? Back to the video though. But yeah, you don't want to be that guy left out of the update when you had all this time to grind. So make sure that you try to reach max level. It's kind of like me telling you. But this is a tips video. You came here for information and I'm shoving it in your face. No homo. All right, for the fifth checkpoint or fifth information tip thingy of this video is to take advantage of Cupid Dungeon. Now, there has been multiple videos about Cupid Dungeons. I'm pretty sure that there's practically a video for you to solo Cupid Dungeons with every single fruit inside the game, probably even Kilo. And what that also means is that you can solo Cupid's Dungeons as a fruitless player. I'm pretty sure that one of my friends made a video about it, or if not, there's a YouTuber who has definitely made a video on how to solo Cupid's Dungeons as a fruitless player. And keep in mind, this all takes like seven, eight, 10 minutes. And especially if you have a double fruit like Pico or Magma, you can easily solo Cupid's Dungeons in like five minutes. I'm able to do it in around seven. But even if you're fruitless, you can probably do it in the same amount of time, maybe like 10 minutes at most. Cupid dungeons are pretty easy to do. A lot of people make videos on how to do it, and you should really, really take advantage of it because Cupid dungeons are leaving for update 5. So 
yeah, make sure that you get that done so you can start getting your inventory to start looking good. Now, this sixth tip is very, um, I guess you can take this whichever way you want. Um, there's really no way to perfect this, but I felt like I should definitely add it in because there are some people who very, like, like they just get taken advantage of very, very easily. And this one is to learn how to trade somewhat. Now, this statement is just so, like, out there because the GPO trading community sucks in my eyes. It is absolutely terrible. And it's just like, there's so much things that I don't understand and I'm not even gonna try to get involved in it, but you should try to learn how to trade. Because if you try to learn how to trade, you can make easy profit off of dumb people who want to give you things early because they don't want to put in the work. And what I mean by that is that you can like get new items that you've grinded for and you can probably trade it for like majority of the fruits inside the game. I've seen people do it before once the like new updates came out. They got lucky around on the first drops and they were able to trade off the items that they could continue grinding for after they're done trading it and just simply get it back. So the earlier that you are or the earlier that you learn how to trade inside this game, the more easy it will be for you to take advantage of players who don't really know how to trade. Because some people trade Gura for Candy Cane and you don't want to be like some people. So learn how to trade. All right, the seventh, second to last tip on this little information video is to get a good fruit. <laughs> now this one, <laughs> this one is kind of evil to say it because I can't just tell you, yo, go get Pico or Magma because I said so and then you'll be like, yay, okay, yes. No, this one takes a lot of hard work and luck. It takes a lot, a, a lot of luck and you're probably an unlucky person if you're watching this, but you know what? You're gonna have to do it somehow. And what I mean by get a good fruit is get a fruit that can farm. Because as you can see, I ate Pika before the update just so that I can do this to boss this. And then just in case I get something new that I don't want, I can just trade it off and then go grind for it again because I can continue doing this for bosses. Now you can also eat magma because that is a fruit that grinds just as easy as Pika, if not better because of the burn damage. But yeah, just get a good fruit that you can easily grind with. I suggest Pika or magma. But another nice one for me is Suna. He is also pretty good for grinding. Zushi is okay. Mera is good for grinding. So fruits that have like barrages, stuff like so that. So what I would really say is that you go for fruits that usually have barrages. So something like Mera that does high burn damage. PA where you could easily spam, um, what's it called? The E skill, which is like, it has a one second cooldown. Or maybe even Suna where you could spam Desert Storm. Just get a fruit that makes it easy for you to farm. Prefer, like, preferably a Logi, but if you can't get any of those, you can also get Gomu, and with Gomu, you can just use the Gatling side, you can do a lot of damage and like a blitz type of thing, like pretty much just be able to do damage to NPCs very easily, because there's going to be, I'm pretty sure, a decent amount of grinding spots during this update, like there's a leak of Brook ship, and that's all I know, pretty much. So yeah, make sure that you get a fruit that can very easily do out good damage and you can just grind fast for the update because the faster you get these drops, the more you can flip them for more fruits and the more you get more fruits, the more happy you are and the more happy you are, the more happy I am because I'm doing this video to help you. Bang. And for the last tip on this um, little video thingy, it's to be open-minded. Yes, you thought it was probably going to be something helpful. I mean, that actually is kind of helpful, but go inside update 5 with an open mind. If you expect too much, you will only just be disappointed. So I'm not trying to set you up for failure or just depress you that you go into update 5 expecting for you to give you like um, one double of fruit and, and like, you know, half an island and say, here you go, go grind the new boss for 50 levels. No, just go in with like an open mindset set some expectations and then you will actually probably be much more happy if those expectations are met and if there's anything beyond those expectations you will feel even better don't go in thinking that update 5 is going to be the holy grail arriving from heaven if that makes sense stuff like that set expectations and be open-minded when it comes to this because it is also just a roblox game you can set expectations you can look forward to it you can have fun but don't take it too seriously oh i started drowning but don't take it too seriously because this is not a triple a game which is something like elden ring stuff like that be open this is roblox and don't expect that much out of a, a roblox game 
outside of that though that is the video i tried to make this as quick and as simple as i can i was just like chilling here in shells town and um yo let me know what you thought of the video hopefully you did enjoy it i'm not gonna try to prolong this outro if you did enjoy the video feel free to show me some support by liking the video because it actually does directly help me out pushes the video out to more people etc all that youtuber stuff thank you for watching hopefully you're having a nice day and um uh, subscribe